<laughs> Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blit and today we're going to have a look at this little tank the Kunze Panzer the event tank the tier 7 German light tank that you can literally get your hands on for while well, playing the game next to nothing it's effectively a free tank sort of we'll get into that but what is this tank all about well I'm not going to do an in-depth review there's no point other YouTubers have done reviews, you've seen one review, you've seen them all. But what are the main points about this tank? Apart from the fact that it's basically going to be free. Well, it's a nice little tank to be honest with you. It's not that bad and we'll get into the details. But how can you get your paws on it? Well, quite easily. You play the game. You play the game over the next six days, you do as much damage as you can over ten battles and then you can get the tank you've got to collect these hammer things and if you collect 30 hammers you can get the tank and the another 10 hammers you can get the camo how do you get that well you've got to do an average damage of 2500 to get the tank an average damage of 1800 i believe roughly to get the camo and about 3500 to get both the tank and the camo so all you need to do in real terms is jump into a tank that has got really good damage output and bobs your uncle and fannies your aunt the chance of you getting it are pretty high he says even if you don't get it you've got a chance to spend gold on it if you really wanted to mm, do you really want to well therein lies the question and my argument would be unless you're a tank collector don't spend gold on this tank now why do i say that Okay, it's a tier seven, number one. And if you wanna get the tank right now, it's gonna cost you about 8,000 gold without doing the event. Do the event as much as possible. If you're not gonna win the tank outright or the camo, and you can get it for like 500 gold, then it probably is worth it. But a couple of things you need to know about this tank. Number one, it is a tier seven, and it is very lightly armored. So it's gonna come across things like smashers and annihilators, that are going to absolutely love this tank. Don't get me wrong, for a light tank, it's got a really good gun, it's got no capability, it's sluggish to start, but once it gets up to speed, it's quite nimble and it's quite nippy. It's got a really good reload, and it does have a little bit of armour. And if you compare it to the other German light tank in its tier, which is the uh, Sparpanzer or the SP-1C, then it's a much better tank. Okay, the aim time is not as good as the SPIC, but well, credit where credit is due, it's better in a lot of other respects. It's got better DPM, it's got a better rate of fire, a better reload time, and it's got better speed. It's a, basically an RU251, but in a lower tier. And if you look at it and compare it to the RU251, it really is a similar tank. Similar type of uh, speed, similar type of DPM, similar type of rate of fire, etc, etc. Clearly this one's a little bit lower because the RU is a tier higher. But it's pretty much an RU, albeit a tier 7. So, why should you spend gold on this thing if you don't get it? On the grounds that you can get an RU for free. It's All you got to do is grind the line, you can get the RU, and you can get the SP-1C for free. I mean, these are tech tree tanks where the Kunze Panzer is basically a premium. So, if you can't get it outright for free, and it's going to cost you a lot of gold, then should you get it? Well, it depends. Do you like playing Tier 7? Basically, if you like playing Tier 7, or if you're a tank collector, then of course, it's worth your while. You're gonna get the tank either for free or next to nothing. If you are a person who, however, who doesn't play tier sevens a lot, don't like light tanks, and is not a tank collector, then why waste your gold on this? Don't, basically. Stay with what you've got, grind your lines, i.e. the SPIC and the SPARP and the RU251, similar tanks, and they're free. No gold required. But, and this is the tricky, this is the, this, is the, this is the important part. You can get this for free. All you've got to do is damage, nothing more. And you've got to do damage, as I say, an average damage of about 2,500 over 10 games 
for the next six days. So that's 10 games, 60 games basically. And you've got to knock out an average damage of 2,500. So all you've got to do is load up in a big derp machine in potentially tier 10. And I went out in a, an E100 on Asia and managed to do it. Uh, and that is hit the average. And I went out in a WZ113 um, tank destroyer in, on EU. And again, I still managed to hit the damage count of 2,500. Not getting anywhere close to the 3,000 odd where you need to get both the camo and the tank. But I could have got the tank. However, it's not that difficult. It really isn't that difficult. All you need is a big derpy gun that dishes out a lot of damage. So that's the Kunze Panzer. It's effectively a freebie, but don't beat yourself up if you can't get it. You know, the chances are you're going to get it for less gold. That's up to you if you want to do that. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's been the Kunze Panzer. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and a happy tanking, because that's the main point.